A quarter of England's secondary schools are starting term with no dedicated physics teacher, meaning students in those schools are being taught by teachers subbing in who have never studied physics past high school level themselves. Physics, man, the, the hardest subject by a long distance. Calculate that distance if that ball is rolling down a hill. Even I bailed out of physics after GCSE because I was looking at snooker balls knocking into each other and screws turning and calculating the force and I was like, screw this screw, I'm out. I did, I did history, I did terrible in history, I wasn't doing anything with physics. I, I thought I was out and then they pulled me back in with the A-level mechanics maths exam. Those were some bad papers. Screw you, Ed Excel. But in a slightly different hot take, this might actually genuinely be a good place that AI teaching could help. Look, if I could learn the entire A-level biology syllabus from Khan Academy while my teacher taught the other students that fire was not a liquid, I kind of think that AI could help teach physics, hopefully by augmenting teachers and helping them rather than replacing them. There was another weird stat in the article. 70% of A-level physics students come from only 30% of schools. It doesn't say which kind of schools, but I think we can all take a pretty educated guess at them. A pretty fee-paying educated guess. Now, for full clarity, I went to a private school. In the North, mind, so my fee was essentially a sack of coal every other Tuesday. But I still think it's crazy that the class and education divide is becoming worse than ever just because regular people can't study one of the core sciences. This has been in the works for a long time, and it's just another failure to help recruit, train, and actually pay teachers properly. If I did a STEM degree at uni, busting my balls, would I ever want to go and teach brain rotted kids for basically minimum wage? No. Especially when a large portion of physics graduates are recruited by tech and finance, with starting salaries like triple the amount from teachers. Just over 12,000 students are missing out on taking A-level physics as a direct result of having no specialist teacher, while more than 300 English state secondaries are failing to produce any pupils who progress to study physics at A-level. 